In this episode, we continue my love-hate relationship with Esbit products and take a look at their ultralight pot stand slash survival stove and alcohol burner. Well, that's right, folks. Welcome back to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical, hanging out in the woods today, enjoying creation, having a fun, fun time and testing out some more Esbit products. Now we've tested out a few over the last year or so that I've been kind of 50-50 on. I see some of their value, but some of it's frustrating or the price to performance isn't quite there for me, or there's little hangups that I have. And so I have like this love-hate relationship with their products. So um, I finally think I've landed on something that I can actually use that I'm actually really enjoying, um, but there's still a hate factor to it. And basically what we're looking at today and what we're gonna be testing out is not only their Esbit alcohol burner stove, this is their little burner, here really cool little system really well built i like the quality the durability um, this thing is brass it's got a nice little uh, snuff lid as well as a valve to be able to adjust the flame which is really nice i really like the the having just now recently gotten into alcohol stoves the snuff feature being able to snuff out your flame really quick is really nice and then it has a sealed lid as well so you could actually contain liquid in there your alcohol in there if need be and it won't leak on you so really well built run you about twenty dollars i think for the the price point it's really well built we're going to perform very well for an extended period of time for me so uh we were are going to have links in the description below throughout this video to amazon as well as to blade hq and backcountry that will have a lot of these products that we're talking about i believe backcountry does if they don't Definitely Blade HQ and Amazon, <laughs> but uh, 20 bucks for this. And when you guys use those hyperlinks, helps us continue to get out here. I bought these products to give you guys feedback, test stuff out. We really appreciate it when you guys support the channel in that simple way. Well, the other thing that we're testing out here that I'm 50-50 on is uh, the Esbit, they call it their um, ultralight pot stand and windscreen and emergency stove. So it's like kind of a three in one thing here, very slim. Uh, it's got a little nylon pouch here. It comes with four metal pieces, stainless steel pieces here, uh, that will fold up into basically three different things. It, it operates either as an emergency fuel tablet stove in itself, um, and, or it can be used to mount and hold the alcohol burner that we just looked at, which is how I've been using it for the most part. We will test out in both with the tablets as well as the stove. Um, or, and also as a windscreen. So it works as a windscreen as well. The deal is that it's basically four pieces of ultra light steel, right? I mean, what do you think this would cost? Generously $10? Let's be generous, right? And call it, say 10 bucks. Really, it should be like $5. I mean, it probably costs them a nickel to punch out this thing. Nope. Uh, I paid $25 for this little setup right here. Just this, not the alcohol stuff, just this. So that is ridiculous. It is an insane price point that it should not be costing. I think you can find them for about 20 if you really hunt around. I think Blade HQ, when I saw them, had them for like 20 bucks. That's ridiculous. It should not be that for four pieces of stamped out metal that are really, I mean, they're thin enough to flex and we're gonna see all that here. So we'll find out if it actually does its job. Can it hold that alcohol stove well? Can it work as a backup emergency uh, um, stove? and can it support a pot well we're going to test out all of that and we're going to really break down a $20 item like this is it really going to be worth it so we'll talk about all that in this video so let's go ahead break them down and see what these two items have to offer and whether or not they're going to be the right tools for you when you need to boil water and cook food in the backcountry or an emergency situation Okay, so we're gonna hit the stand itself first. Uh, extremely flat, lightweight at 3.28 ounces. It comes in a little nylon pouch to hold it all together. Attaches very easily. It is extremely lightweight, flexible. It's got the little pan on the bottom uh, for the tablets that we'll talk about in a moment. And uh, I'll tell you that it does exactly what it should do in that it's very easy to connect. They don't come apart once you put them together and it really seats the alcohol stove very nicely and will support most diameter pans or pots that you may put on top of it to cook over an alcohol stove or the emergency tablets. So uh, it absolutely does exactly what it's supposed to do. It actually blocks the wind rather well against the tablets. I had some windy days when I was doing tablets. And so it does exactly what it's supposed to do in the sense of its design and how lightweight it is and holding the alcohol stove very securely. So it, it, its design, particularly as a, as a pot stand and alcohol stove stand, works really well.
Okay, now on to the alcohol stove. Now I am really, as I said earlier, impressed with the stove. I really like it a lot. Uh, what you are looking at is about three and a half ounces uh, in weight. It's gonna be just a hair under three inches in diameter. So it'll fit in most you know, uh, pots and cups that you may be wanting to store it inside. And then it's two inches high. So uh, the size, the weight all work really well together. It holds uh, about two to three ounces. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but several, you know, a good enough amount of ounces of, of alcohol in one sitting. And then obviously you can uh, always refill it. So it's a really well-built item and particularly the, the lid with the gasket so I can store if need be alcohol inside. And then as the added bonus, um, the snuff lid, lid or valve basically so I can determine do I want to have a little bit lower heat that really works well not only with like for simmering things and that type of stuff but then again snuffing out the alcohol stove really quickly now for me with my testing I've used it both in the back country uh, up at about 8,500 feet and then I've used it in my backyard now I do all my testing in the backyard because I'm at right about a mile high 5,280 feet and that's where we test a lot of our different stoves just so we have a line of um, data you know that's pretty consistent this isn't a lab test this is a backyard test but to give you perspective um, and what I found was about 12 minutes on average is what I could get two cups of water to boil at at my altitude and so that 12 minutes is definitely doable for me. It's definitely a lot faster than any of the Esbit tablets when I've tested them out in all three different stoves that I've tested now with them. So the speed is doable. It's definitely slower than say a fuel pod system, but it's gonna be cheaper and overall light, lighter weight than what I would be doing with my say MSR pocket rocket as an entire system. Now, the, again, the pocket rocket is a lot more efficient. The pocket rocket uh, is a lot faster. So on a you know multi-day backpacking trip, I'm not switching to alcohol stoves. I'm still using my pocket rocket, but this is a great alternative if you're just not wanting to use those canister based stoves. Now the alcohol I was using was 91%. Um, that's the cheapest, you know, this was like a dollar for a 16 fluid ounce uh, jug that would, now, when I used the pot holder as a backup emergency tablet stove, I was not impressed, just like I wasn't impressed with their pop-up stove and with their self-contained pot and emergency stove. All three are gonna take, for, in all of my testing, close to 20 minutes, if not longer, to boil two cups of water at my altitude. Um, and that's just insane for me. I mean, short of it being like life and death, that that is, they're, I'm using the alcohol stove or I'm using my pocket rocket or I'm using something else. Um, so, uh, the one positive is that it worked much better as a windscreen with those tablets than, uh, really any of the other stoves that I've used so far. The one I was doing the tablet testing it was quite windy out and I, with like the little pop-up one that would have snuffed out multiple times. I had to do that when I was testing it last time and relight it constantly. This one, I only had to relight one time and it was while I was swapping out tablets. So. Um, it will. It is a very good windscreen, regardless if you're using it for the alcohol stove or for the tablets, but the tablets are just gonna take you forever, and that is not the way that I would recommend using this uh, system. Well, folks, let's go ahead and bring it to a close and give you my final thoughts on these two items here. Um, do they do what they're supposed to do? Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed, particularly as a system. If you're looking for, I believe, a really good windscreen, uh, alcohol stove mount and uh, alcohol stove. I think this is a great kit, great setup. And really, I believe the only killer for this system is the price. I mean, to buy both of these, I basically spent about $50. And I don't really believe the value is there to justify the price point. Uh, I feel like the materials, if the whole kit, you know, was maybe 30, that would make more sense to me if, if each one was 30 bucks, you know, or $15, you know, or something like that. But particularly that, that ultra light pot holder slash emergency stove slash, you know, alcohol stove holder. I, 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 it is really hard for me to justify 25 to $20 for that little thing. I mean, just, it's mind boggling. That thing should be $10 max. So, um, you know, if, if this is something that you see value in, it's going to absolutely do the job. I'm really happy with it because I've spent the money. I will use it regularly here in the backcountry. We just made several pots of coffee or cups of coffee, some espresso with one of my portable espresso makers that we're testing out right now. So it's absolutely doing its job and I will continue to use it. But would I have invested almost $50 in it? Um, 
I would have probably tried to figure out a better, cheaper way to do an alcohol stove system. So folks, I hope that this video has been informative, helped you out, giving you some pointers, showing you whether or not this whole system is worth spending your hard-earned money on. Uh, and I just thank you guys for coming over here today. I also want to remind you about our Knock Around Sunglass affiliate as well as all those affiliates below. The link is free for you and helps us continue to make the content that you see here in these videos. So we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook. We invite you to become part of the GT family. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. We're throwing up videos like this every single week. We have a great community of people. Love just hanging out with you guys and talking and communicating and, uh, through YouTube and through social media. It's a great, awesome time and a blast. And uh, yeah, so we really appreciate it. Uh, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there.